Hi, I'm Ty with Rusty Rental here in Frederick, Colorado. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, the tilt switch that we've developed uh, for mini loader applications. We run a fleet of uh, Dingoes, uh, TX1000s, TX525s, TX1000 narrow tracks, um, and we developed this out of our own uh, need and desire to help protect our machines. Uh, we've had several uh, tip over events in the years that we've been in business, and we discovered that there's a need for uh, protecting that investment, pr protecting that engine uh, and its components. Uh, we got a tilt switch installed on this little mini skid loader here uh, to just kind of show you how the operation of this uh, device works. But essentially you wire it in with a neutral safety switch or you wire it in with a, a starter relay in order to cut out the starter. Um, but the idea is you're going to, after uh, a machine tips over uh, beyond 45 degrees, it activates the switch. Uh, once the machine is tipped back in the upright position, uh, the switch is in an engaged fashion so it, it does not allow uh, the machine to turn on or the starter to be kicked over without um, having a, um, without having somebody come out and actually service it, uh, pull glow plugs and uh, remove oil from, uh, from, from cylinder heads, that kind of thing. We thought, well, what happens if somebody, you know, disconnects the battery terminal? reconnects the battery terminal. Uh, well, in our instance, um, our switch actually stays in uh, its last known state. So um, I've got a little reset button on the bottom of the machine here, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset it. Um, maybe, there we go. All right, so I'll show you a little bit of, about how the switch actually works. Uh, so it's a single plane switch. So if you were to tip it in 45 degrees in one direction, uh, it switches, I'm gonna go ahead and reset the machine. Uh, tilt it in 45 degrees the other direction, it, it tips the, the switch, or, or activates the switch. Um, once you, we thought about this, if you're loading into a dump trailer or you're going over terrain that would otherwise be considered normal operation for a mini skid loader or even a skid loader, um, you can see how it does not trip the switch. So uh, you can wire this so that uh, your, um, your field tech um, can come out and you know, maybe there's a push button on it, or um, the other way that we've done it is that, um, you know, it's just a, a hidden wire that has to be grounded uh, in order for somebody to actually reset the switch and put it into normal operate. The box that it is is approximately that big, or this is the box, um, but it generally has a wire lead coming out of it. So um, that's what the switch consists of. It's either a firewall mount, which is in this orientation, um, so that it would trip when you uh, tilt it in one direction or the other, or the other way is a belly pan mount, um, which if you were to tip it one way or the other, it would trip uh, in that operation. So anyway, that's the tilt switch.